welcome to Central Academy. I'm Diane Souter, and I'm happy to have you here at our brand new location on Sophie Avenue. Come on inside. This is the office. The first thing that you see when you come in the building. And this is Mrs. LaForce, who is the first person who will greet you when you come. Remember to send that note on Friday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning, and welcome to Central Academy. And I have another person I'd like for you to meet, who I'm sure you'll see if you come to Central Academy. This is Mr. Ted Skank. He is our custodian, and he's a fixture of our school. We're so lucky to have him. Let's go see some classes. This is our music room, and right now we have uh, an intermediate ORF ensemble working together. For right now, could you give us one that's dead? with our music program we also have orchestra and band and a wonderful art and phys ed program. Let's go take a look at an early primary room. This is the hallway that you see when you get down there. It's representing the April showers bring May flowers and we progress from the clouds to the raindrops to the umbrellas to the butterflies to the leaves and then flowers. These are two poems that one of our early primary classes wrote um, themselves and published on a website online, Thaddeus Rex, so they are now published authors. This is an early primary classroom. They're kindergartners and first graders, and they're in the middle of their center time when they have choice, but also responsibilities for their learning during that time. We have a reading diagnostician in the classroom who is here uh, for a large section of the day working with students on reading who have a little more difficulty with that and we have the teacher in the classroom who is working individually and with small groups instructionally for small periods of time. We have a student intern from Miami University and our partnership with them and you'll see that the students are all engaged in working on their own and knowing what their responsibility is at this time. Let's take a look in a late primary classroom. These intermediate students, grades four and five, are working on a geometry project. They're designing a village using geometric shapes. We often use the halls for extra space. This is a combined classroom of fourth and fifth graders uh, using a very strong research-based uh, uh, practice on team teaching. We've been working with Miami University as well as other researchers in the area. Uh, and we're seeing all of the benefits that the research shows we would see. These students are right now doing their math contracts. The math contracts are individualized for their own individual level. Our classrooms are also fully included, which means that all students are placed together and work next to each other, learning that everyone has gifts and talents. In this classroom, you'll see everything from students who are visually impaired, need a wheelchair, uh, need extra help and more time, to students who are regularly going to a gifted program in the district and being challenged each day in this room. At the end of the room, you'll see our math coach for our school. She has, has been here for a year now, working with our teachers to improve their understanding of growth, development, and mathematics. We're seeing wonderful results from that. Central Academy also has our own middle school. Let's go down and take a look at it. This hallway begins our middle school. Our middle schoolers right now in humanities are studying ancient civilization. Uh, they have created a museum for the younger students in the school to come and see the artifacts from those civilizations that they've been studying. Come on and take a look. Behind each of these artifacts that they've created, there is research that the students have done so that they understand the impact, the time usage, and, and what they were used for. Um, then from that, they've made cards to help explain, just as you would have signage in a museum. And since all of our students walk down this hallway to get to music and art and band and orchestra, they take a look at the museum each day as they walk by. And it's amazing how much the, the, the younger students will stop and read and get excited about these artifacts that are out here. 
This is our middle school math and science room. These students are in grades six and seven. They are grouped together, but they are individualized in the levels that they are working at with individual goals, again, once again, from the state standards. Right now, they're working on a science project. They do a block of science and math in an integrated learning program. This is our media center. We're really excited to have that with us this year. We have done an extensive job of researching and trying to, to locate books that reflect all of our students in a multicultural manner. And our librarian is a part of our extended equity team. Our library is a highly used space all day long. When students do individual research throughout the school, grades K through 8, they're free to come in here at any time and extend that research. This helps out our school-wide themes that we have three times a year. We've just completed the theme on is there unity in the community and looked at what communities are and the degree to which there might be democracy or a lack of it. And now we're entering into what does green mean and we're looking at the ecosystem and what we're doing with our earth. These are some middle school students who have come over to work on their research. Heading back down toward the office again, I wanted to point out to you what you will see when you first come into our school. These large posters are from our first town hall meeting at the beginning of school every year. Town hall meetings are held whenever there is a decision or an action that is so important that every member of our community needs to be in attendance. The custodian will come, our school secretary comes and takes notes. Everyone is there. Um, at the beginning of school each year, we form into multi-aged groups, K through uh, eighth grade, and we talk about and the, the students identify what we value here at Central. We always come up with just enough values so that every group can take one of those values. Each group then takes a value and generates these signs that tell you what we value and how that value will look. For instance, this particular one says that we can speak here. Finding your sense of voice is extremely important at Central. So from that value that we can speak here, the students have generated ideas and written on it other things that you will see because of that value. We can say what we want without fear. We can speak for ourselves, etc. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Central Academy as much as we enjoy this wonderful building. We are one of Middletown City Schools public schools and therefore free. We accept students from all over the district and busing is provided through Middletown City Schools. If you'd like to know more about Central Academy, please feel free to come to one of our informational coffees or to stop by the Middletown City Schools website at www.middletowncityschools.com. Take a look at our website, Central Academy. If you'd like to know more about our school, we'd love to have you stop by and take a look for yourself. We'd love to have you.